Gail, you brave woman. I am so excited for you. Have the best time in space. You're going to space. You are going to space. I can't believe it. Gail, I can't believe you're going to space. Good luck. Have so much fun for all of us. You gotta tell me what it's like. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Be safe. Gail, believe in yourself. Believe it'll all work out. You'll have fun. Gail, um, I'm so proud of you for going on the first all-women space mission. And do not let this lame dating pool on Earth deter you from coming back here. See you soon. Hi, Gail. I think you'll try defying gravity. I know you love defying gravity. Because no one will bring you down. Thank you, Adina. Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna channel my inner Adina, Adina and Cynthia Rebo in that moment. So I may be among the first few hundred people to go to space, but I know I will be far from the last. Technology is making it possible for more people without years of training to experience space, like, hello, my name is Gail. In fact, there is a whole new industry making that happen. Happy to say Mark Strassman is here with more on what could be a new era. I know this is something, I can't wait for that moment, that zero gravity there. Oh, I know this amazing. is your area of expertise. Mark, good well, morning. Thought, good morning to you. It's great to be with you. And what you're about to do really became a thing four years ago. In 2021, private citizens began to pioneer a new option in travel, going straight up for miles. Space tourism, no longer science fiction, but science fact. Newly minted astronauts include tycoons Jeff Bezos and Richard Branson, and celebrities such as actor William Shatner. I'm Captain James T. Kirk, commanding the Starship Enterprise. Of Star Trek fame. The most profound experience. Two companies, Bezos's Blue Origin and Branson's Virgin Galactic, will rocket you to the edge of space and back. It's a suborbital joyride. 50 to 60 miles above Earth, with a total trip time up and down lasting as little as 11 minutes. Nearly 120 people have launched with the two companies so far. These are purely civilian flyers in most cases, and you have to call that space tourism. And doing it for fun. Yeah, pretty much doing it for fun. You know, you're getting your four minutes of weightlessness. You're getting a view of the Earth that only astronauts have ever gotten before. In 2022, Mountaineer Vanessa O'Brien flew to the edge of space with Blue Origin and loved it. You are able to see something that is so precious. It was seeing that blue marble from above, and it translates into a, a sense of almost responsibility and an appreciation that um, we really are all connected, that it is one planet. <laughs> Elon Musk's SpaceX offers next-level orbital adventuring. In 2021, billionaire Jared Isaacman financed Inspiration4, an all-civilian crew of four. They orbited Earth for three days. Another space company, Axiom, has chartered civilians all the way to the International Space Station. Ticket prices are reportedly stratospheric, roughly a half million dollars per passenger for an up-and-down trip. Three, two... One ignition. Somewhere around $200 million to charter a SpaceX capsule into orbit. Those up and down suborbital flights have a better chance of, you know, getting down to an affordability level that, that might appear a bit more reasonable. Will those flights be more affordable to more people anytime soon? I do think the prices uh, can get down to the point of an around the world cruise, you know, something like that uh, in fairly short order. So strap yourself in once prices begin to drop. The future of taking a selfie from space is already here. The way to drive down the cost to a price point that's more affordable, more approachable for more people is with regular launches of reusable hardware. And that may not be as far away as some people think. Now, I want to say one thing to you. Okay. In my next life, yes. I want to come back as you. Really? And go Would to you space. want to do this, Mark? You 100%. Mean, I know people are stopping me on the street saying, oh, You're so lucky, take me with you. Um, and th that was that's not at all where I was coming from. But the more I hear about it, the more excited I get. And I realize this is so much bigger than just a fun trip. Mm -hmm. What it represents to young women, to girls, mm -hmm. what they're trying to do on space in terms of you know looking at the planet in another way. 
and making it, you know, preparing for better things here on Earth. So, you know, I'm really opening myself up in a way that I never have before. But you would do it in a heartbeat. I would do it in a heartbeat. Wow. And you're going to do great. You promise? I promise. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to be counting on you. Are you going to be there Monday? I'm going to be there Monday. I know. I need to see I'll as many as, friendly faces. I'll see you when you come back. Yes, 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 because I am coming back. I want to see as many, many friendly faces as I can on that day.